righty, it's time for your comments. First, we have a video comment, first on the show, from Jason in Phoenix, Arizona. And if you want to leave us a video message, once again, go to NewsmaxTV.com slash TalkBack. Okay, Jason has a comment about Donald Trump. Let's hear it. Okay, you ask, do I think Donald Trump will win the Republican presidential nomination? Well, I most certainly hope not, because he can't win in the general. And we really need to nominate someone who can beat the Dragon Lady next fall, rather than someone who simply exploits the worst, most base emotions in a narrow segment of the electorate just to burnish his own egomaniacal aspirations. How does the GOP benefit from Donald Trump being in the race? In what way does it improve our chances of getting 270 electoral college votes, especially when we're already behind by 41? Can someone explain to me the math or path? To a Trump victory? Is is he in a hospital bed? I thought that was his kitchen. Whatever. Kind of bare covered, but uh, <laughs> it was very, very pensive. It was very okay. uh, meticulous, well thought out. I mean, that was genuine emotion that we had here, yeah. as opposed to email. I can't tell how people feel in email. Sometimes they do the, you know, the, right. the explanation points <laughs> and the question marks. Yeah. A lot of caps, right? That that was somebody who genuinely cares about yeah. uh, Republicans winning next year and thinks that Trump can't beat Hillary. So I pulled it up because I got a preview of the comment. Uh, let's see. Latest CNN poll has Clinton by five over Trump. Fox News has Trump by five over Clinton. And then the PPP poll that came out on the fourth, that's the third most recent poll, has them at a tie. Margin of error. So, right, margin but of error. But then again, a month ago, Mr. Trump was way down in the polls uh, to Hillary Clinton. He was down like, uh, like 13 points. When he announced, he was and down 26. Yeah, so he is creeping up. Give it some more time. That's true. Yeah. That's true. You would love to see you. You say bring right. on anybody, right. uh, or maybe Carson. Run him. Maybe great. You would okay. Yeah. Carson, oh, Carson lacks the political maturity to, to stay <laughs> a at this level. And He's B. not as mature as Ben. Donald. Who is yeah. Hillary Clinton's Nobody worst is. nightmare in a general election? Huh. Well, I think it's probably Rubio, just because of the contrast. And I'm not saying that in terms of yeah. the substance. I'm saying that in terms of the style. Mm -hmm. And his whole message has been: I'm young. I'm fresh. There doesn't even need to be any substance behind it. He can basically just say that. And versus, you know, stale, elderly. I've seen this movie yeah. before, yeah. and it was yeah. uh, Barack Obama versus John McCain, yeah. but right? It yeah. Young you versus old. It makes you wonder, doesn't it? All those complaints about Obama's youthfulness and his lack of experience and being a one-term senator. Did, did people really believe that when they well, were saying? Well, well Obama think? was charismatic but above all else. Like no, no, he no, had but, zero message. Yeah, no, no. But the complaint that he was too green. Did people really believe that, or they were just saying? Yeah, it was a think? talking well, point for the Republican. I believe it. You know, I I think Marco Rubio is too green. Well, let me let me just say one Last thing. Though. He was ba he's basically been able to pass his whole agenda, so I think he's been very effective with very little experience mm -hmm. in the U.S. Senate. Okay, so Rubio's answer. Anyway, That's viewers good. are still steamed about the debate. Lenny writes, regarding canceled NBC debate, Republicans can have NBC carry it, but put on their own moderators in place, like Sean Hannity, Mark Levin, Rush Limbaugh, Joe Concha. Okay, it doesn't say that. If NBC <laughs> reneges, contact Newsmax. Wait, well, here we go. Yeah. He actually does say this. Who have Joe Concha, Steve Ballsberg, J.D. Hayworth to be moderators. Rick can watch it from home. L-O-L. you got to uh -oh. have Rick there Ouch. for a little balance, Rick. right? Ouch. Oh, see, that no. poor guy gets beat over the head all the time. Yeah. Interesting. That's the new thing. Nobody ever has to hear anything they disagree with. It'll be great. You th well, uh, to Ben's point, Mark or maybe to your point, someone. I think that that would be some Repu particularly yeah. establishment Republicans. You don't want Mark Levin you anywhere gotcha? near yeah. you. Yeah. Are you for gotcha questions? Not, no, 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 not for gotcha, gotcha questions. questions. That's not gotcha I'm for not <laughs> editorializing. That is yeah. deep <laughs> policy questions. Mark Levin will shred everyone on that stage. Let, let it be known. I'm, I'm a media writer first. And I, right. I praised Anderson Cooper up and down for the way he handled democratic debate. He asked tough questions without editorializing. And he did it standing up, by the way. You made a career of gotcha questions, by the way. I, only with you. <laughs> and they never work. It's amazing. Anyway, <laughs> Kenneth someone. emails, how about Newsmax conducting a GOP debate? There we go. Perhaps <laughs> Unger could be one of the moderators. Open-minded. That's good. I wouldn't have an issue with that. Perhaps along someone like J.D. Hayworth. Why not? What about me? Okay, let's move on. Regarding the <laughs> VA needing improvement, Mary says, right on, Rick Unger, spelled wrong. We as a nation definitely owe our vets first priority. That's true. My late husband received excellent care at the VA facility near Medford, Oregon. But there are problems elsewhere. You hit the nail on the head. Our obligation must be met. Higby, quickly. I think uh, the VA must you know, must reform really quickly, and I, I mean, you guys all saw Trump's policy that was released recently on the VA. It's going to reform it. 
Accountability. Okay. We have a couple of comments on the 46, so it's all over the place, this number, $46 million gas station you, the American taxpayer, helped build in Afghanistan. Jim writes, how could anyone trust the federal government? I'm hardly shocked with the $40 million gas station. See, now it's down to 40. Yet we keep electing those crooks into office. And Janice says, I'm so sick of the wasteful spending by our government. And the crazy thing is, when someone is found guilty of misspending taxpayer money, they're never fired. That's true. Maybe Ellis can explain why so many government fat cats get their, keep their jobs after fleecing the American people. We will talk about it after the break. If you don't mind, i got to read this. Remember, if you want to be part of the conversation, go to Newsmax.com slash talkback to leave a video message or email us at Newsmax.com slash comments. Yay or nay, that be next. Stick around.